Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how you can scrape all publicly available information from someone's LinkedIn profile. In order to do this successfully, you need to download the Chrome extension of Phantom Buster, create an account and already have a list of LinkedIn profiles that you would like to scrape. Um, if you want to learn how to get a large set of LinkedIn URLs, then watch the video of SalesQL because that's uh, the video where uh, I explain on how to do that. Um, the power of scraping someone's LinkedIn profile is that you can scrape large data sets of LinkedIn profile, enrich them, and then filter out false positives, making your life much more efficient. And Phantom Buster allows you to take a print screen of someone's LinkedIn profile which you can use if you send, want to send personalized messages at scale. More of that in the advanced section on video outreach, how you can actually use that, but there are multiple options for it. So let's get started. The Phantom that you are uh, going to need is the Phantom under LinkedIn and LinkedIn Profile Scraper. here I'm gonna click on use this phantom all right because I'm on the free version you can only use one phantom but I've already have it here so I basically go to setup so the first thing that phantom buster asks you to do is to connect your LinkedIn to phantom Buster. so basically you give phantom buster access to your LinkedIn and you do that by downloading the Chrome extension, clicking on connect to LinkedIn, click on save. And then you need to uh, give a Google Sheet with the LinkedIn profile. So I already have that. So these are the LinkedIn profiles uh, that I use as an example. And what is very important here is that you make sure that the settings are editable. So change this and make sure it's on editor mode. Done. And then you copy paste the link. in here just click on save now the number of profiles to scrape per launch so this really depends on whether you have the free version or a paid version if you have the free version of 10 minutes don't scrape more than 30 profiles because otherwise you'll run over and you end up with no results which is something that you don't want um, in case you want to take a partial size screenshot of the profile if you want to use that uh, for uh, automation later then make sure to click this one. If you don't, because this takes a little bit more time per profile uh, to do that, but if, uh, if you don't, you can do up to 40 profiles. In this case, now I put it on 40, but you know, let's put it on 30. Let's give uh, the CC uh, a name, so make sure. Example for Phantom Buster 2. And here, if you don't want to scrape all the data from someone's LinkedIn profile, you can actually indicate which fields you would like to have. So this is powerful when you know you have a paid version and you do this over and over to only filter out the fields that you want because then you're able to do larger data sets. But for now, that doesn't really matter. All right, we're gonna click on save. Um, if you wanna add email addresses to this, uh, you can choose here email discovery uh, modes, but uh, for these guys, these are all paid versions, so we don't use that. Click on save because we've got SalesQL for that. Um, settings, if you have a larger data set, so, so for example, hundreds of profiles, um, you can actually put it on repeat. Um, and that is especially powerful because LinkedIn does have triggers if you constantly do the same exercise over and over, then it gets triggered, you get flagged as spam, and they might block your profile, which is something you want to avoid. Hence, Phantom Buster says you can also do um, scraping once per day, or four times per day, or once every other working hour, or once per working hour, four to up to four times per working hour. In this case, um, I want to do manually. I have a small data set and I don't have to do it over and over. But the beauty is Phantom Buster runs in the cloud. So you can even put this on at night when you're asleep and it will still run automatically in the background uh, until your time is up, which on the free version is 10 minutes of active scraping time. Notification is none. Um, click on save. And now you go here. And click on it. And I will click on launch. What you're going to see now is that Phantom Buster is going to uh, start running. You can do any kind of other, other activities if you want. And we'll start to look at the profiles that I just indicated. Now, 
as you can see, connected to LinkedIn. <clears throat> For the sake of this example, I've already done this, so I'm gonna click on abort, and then the end result you will find here. So in this case, match your example Phantom Buster. I already did that for you guys, so to make life easier. Uh, download the CSV file and then open the CSV file by Google Sheets. Upload the device. Import data. And here you go. All the data that you were looking for in terms of the people that you indicated in the first list. Now, the beauty of this is, is that this is someone's LinkedIn profile URL. So, sorry, it has someone's uh, profile on LinkedIn. So you can use these, for example, on Lemlist, say, hey, I saw your picture somewhere, and then you, someone sees their own picture. Or you can say, and that's this one, Hey, Olga, I checked out your LinkedIn profile. And then you basically say, you know, like, hey, I've checked it out. You know, I really like what you're doing. Uh, but I think I have a great uh, job for you. And if you scroll all the way to the right, first company, second uh, companies, job titles, where someone went to school, endorsements, skills, almost everything that's on someone's LinkedIn profile gets scraped. So you can use it to filter out false positives, but you can also use it to um, send out personalization at scale. So for example, um, you can say, hey, you know, I saw that you studied at University X, or hey, you know, I saw that you're working now at this company, but also at your previous company in that sense. Um, and by collecting this data, you can filter out false positives, but also use it for mass personalization. All right.